Well, I don't know about you boys, but I'm pretty beat. Well, it's too damn bad you never found that Bob character. Seems a shame he never had to pay. Well, funny thing about that. I did have one more chance at him. Six months ago, I heard that Butch and Sundance were back in the States and had gathered up some of their old gang. I tracked them down, hoping that Roscoe Bob Bryant had returned with them. So, you're saying they didn't die down in Bolivia? That's what I'm saying. Forty years I had waited to get my hands on the last of my brother's killers. Not even an army of demons could have stopped me now. had managed to escape my vengeance time and time again. I couldn't even be certain I'd recognize him after that. By now, he had to be close to seven. For all you know, he could have been dead. That thought had indeed crossed my mind. As did others. instance. Did my thirst for vengeance turn me into something worse than the man I was after? By this point in my storied career, I had killed more men than Bob Bryant ever had. I was furious as hell at that bastard for making me who I am. A man with no family, no friends, no purpose except shooting Bob Bryant dead. me from taking his life. I've been after that killer forever. From the time I rode with Billy the Kid, 
But that chapter of my story you already know. Chapter of that fairy tale, you mean? Suddenly it was 1910. There I was, an old man roaming a ghost town dead almost two decades. Just like me. the ghosts of my dead brothers were begging me to end what I started so long ago. Mr. Graves, are you all right? Would you like some water? The wild bunch knew I was there. They were after a treasure they had hidden before they fled, buried in the grave of a dead amigo. Some folks think the town is haunted, so they figured there wouldn't be many people poking around. Intended to fill that grave with Bob Bryant's corpse. Like I said, 
The bandits knew I was on to them. They lured me in and hit me with everything they had. Actually, in that moment, I did not prevail. So I suppose we're talking to a ghost. Funny you should put it like that, Jack. Because when I woke up... Uh, from the dead? There was silence all around me. I swear to God I saw Billy then. Billy who? Billy the kid. William Bonney. He was shooting at me from a rooftop. in the head. Mr. Greaves, perhaps we should switch you to coffee? You see that old Indian again, too? No, but I did see Billy's killer, Patrick Floyd Garrett. He came at me guns a-blazing. I knew that old war horse had died two years before. I wondered if maybe I was dead, too, and confronting the ghosts of my past. Perhaps all my sins were coming back to haunt me and, and drag me down to perdition.
saw Henry Plummer throw dynamite at me. of the cemetery, I saw John Wesley Hardin, just like I remembered him. appeared with his terrible double-barrel shotgun. The ghost, ghost army was stopping me. Uh, my father-in-law got hit with a fallen branch. He spent the rest of his life talking to dogs. <laughs> 